a new trailer for Creed 3 uh, dropped yesterday. And we didn't, it, it came out just after we had started the show, yeah. so we didn't have time to talk about it. Now, the Creed franchise is one of those that when they first announced it, I admit, I was one of the guys that said, this is a bad idea. A Rocky movie that's not focusing on Rocky. Come on. I mean, come on, let's all admit it. That That's not a good sounding thing. As we got close to the movie coming out, sounded interesting. Michael B. Jordan being in it, that's always appealing. And then it was being directed by the dude who did Fruitvale Station. It's like, okay, Ryan Coogler's doing it. All right, all right let's see, let's see. And the movie was fantastic. Uh, Coogler didn't direct the second one. Uh, the director of Transformers Rise of the Beast directed the second one. Capel, is that, I think that's his last name. Not as good as the first one, but no, still but quite entertaining. So I had a good time the whole following, the following up the Drago story and all that kind of stuff. I had a good time with it. I have some emotional apprehensions about Creed 3 just because I know all the bad blood that's now exists between Sylvester Stallone and Michael B. Jordan and the, the filmmaker. So it, there's a little bit of awkwardness there, true. But the trailers so far have looked good. This new one that came out, though, <laughs> this new trailer that came out looks fantastic. It looks, uh, again, my Jonathan Majors is kind of ruling the world right now. That dude is a beast. Yeah. Like an absolute beast. And there's that line he says, I'm coming for it all. Like that whole thing, the drama of it, they they set up, even just in the trailers, they've set up great personal stakes. The, the It's not just, I'm a fighter, that's the guy who wants my title. They made it deeper, they made it more personal. That always ups the drama. I always say this, Rob, action without narrative purpose is just visual noise. Yeah. All right, I've said that for a lot of years. Action without purpose is just visual noise. Without narrative purpose is just visual noise. These trailers have been doing nothing but laying the narrative emotional purpose of everything. This Every punch that's going to get thrown has emotional narrative purpose and history behind it. And that always heightens action. This movie looks terrific. Dude. Still feel a little weird about the whole Sylvester Stallone situation, granted. But we're going to go in. We're going to evaluate this movie on its own merits. And so far, looking good. What do you think about this trailer? Oh, uh, you know, uh, let's not forget that this is Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut. Yes, yeah. And and I've always been a fan of his all the way back to The Wire and Friday Night Lights. I've been watching him on the talk show circuit. He's an incredibly articulate, very smart guy. And that, you know, for an actor, not that actors aren't are incredibly articulate and smart, but he clearly has learned. He spent the last 20 years in the business as an actor, really, I think, learning how to direct, learning how to do this. And he, he talked about how he's a huge anime fan, like a big anime nerd. And he talked about how he brought in anime style, like punches. You know, when you see the close up of the whoosh, boom, the punches and like something like Dragon Ball or, uh, and he brought those into the fight scenes and you can see it in the trailer. And I love the fact that again, he's got an interesting point of view. I think he's going to Kugler did the same thing in the first Creed, making these long takes on these fight scenes. I really love the way that there's one scene in the trailer where like his name, there's like a firework or something that explodes on these light mm. panels and it says Creed. And I'm like, there's just, I don't know why I like that so much. There's the way this was shot and the, the directorial choices that you can tell even from the trailer. I love seeing new voices, new directorial voices that we're going to get. And based on this trailer and, and listening to him speak, I think we're getting going to get an exciting new young director out of this, including a, a great performance as an actor as well. Because, you know, director, actors, uh, the good ones have made some of the best movies ever made, like Citizen Kane. I'm not saying this is, I'm not equating Creed 3 to Citizen Kane, but I'm just saying I'm really excited for this movie because it seems to tick. I'm always talking about authorship. I think we're going to get, I think we're going to get something pretty special from this movie and you know harloff did an out of the uh trail he's seen it he did an out of theater review and both him and mark ellis quite like this so they really were i'm excited yeah the, the response i've been here have been pretty good and now there's nobody in this room maybe in this town that's more excited about creed 3 than yeah. than our own ray Orr over here yeah. ray i saw i'd be remiss if i didn't ask ray did, did you you saw the trailer i'm gonna guess what did you think about it this trailer looks fantastic i mean the the one thing about the rocky series is that it works because it's it gets with the modern times like it 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 up the production on the boxing to make it look more real sometimes the drama in the ring or outside the of the ring is more interesting than what happens in the ring sometimes and it looks like there's a lot of drama that happens outside the ring i mean he's calling creed what a coward a fake champion 
I mean, he spent Creed one trying to prove that he belonged in the ring, Belo like wasn't a mistake. Now he has to prove to this guy, his friend from whatever. Childhood. Out, yeah. That he's not fake, that he wasn't just holding his spot. Man, there's a lot of drama here that... And, and all the boxing movies are the same. All the fight movies are the same. You build up and then you get to the ring thing or the, the octagon or whatever. Let's just hope it's all good, like even outside yeah. and in the ring. But I have no, no doubt that the in-ring stuff is going to be good. Like the Creed stuff stepped it up to a more real realistic take on boxing it's still exaggerated but you know I, I i love it i love it all all right guys question is for you are you excited for creed 3 maybe you're like me maybe you've got a little bit of uh, emotional baggage going into knowing like eh, there's bad blood between stallone and the franchise now and it's stallone's franchise maybe this trailer's so good it doesn't matter maybe you've never been a fan of the creed movies whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let me know your Thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code Campia for 20% off and free shipping. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. You also get the Beard Shampoo and Conditioner. Because guys, you gotta remember that all of your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. Next, the kit has Manscaped's Beard Oil. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath. You then cap it off with the Beard Bomb that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three special gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths.